Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is that time again. We have gotten the Adam Torres character short, we got the Volume 6 poster, we've gotten a lot of news and information out of New York Comic Con a couple weeks ago. We are finally in Ruby season with Volume 6 that premieres next week in theaters and next weekend for first members. And it all starts <laughs> right here with the Ruby Volume 6 trailer. I'm watching this an hour before it goes public, courtesy of Entertainment Weekly. Shout out to you guys. Um, it's a minute and 25 seconds, and I am my stomach is tied in knots right now because it's like, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna find out? What do we have to look forward to? And you know, the poster obviously gives us a lot of context with Oscar and Ozpin and Salem being in the poster, you know, seemingly Cinder being in the poster, a new Grim, Team Ruby's back together, we're going to Atlas, we have the relic of knowledge. So believe me when I tell you that I'm super anxious to see like everything that this trailer has to offer because this is going to be what we have to look forward to going into volume five little snippets here and there little character moments uh reveals or things to hype us up in general so first and foremost i want to say thank you so much to everybody who has been supporting the channel especially in the last year between volume five going into volume six uh and welcome to everybody who's going to be you know watching my reactions for volume six for the first time people who've been returning to my channel ever since they discovered me whenever you guys have discovered me ruby season has always been the most exciting part of the year for me especially because we get new characters we get new environments we get new fight scenes and everything like that we get to see what the crew has been working on in the last year and you know obviously it's the it's the time of the year where i'm the most busiest with in terms of videos and content so you know i really do appreciate all the support you guys have shown me over the last couple of years and again with this year things are going to be only hamming up and getting a lot better in terms of content reactions reviews live stream discussions shit posting videos when those become according um i'm going to be doing all of that content so you guys can Look forward to a more robust season this year in terms of videos here on the channel uh, i'm very excited to check out this trailer i'm probably going to be watching it a couple of times my initial to kind of get all my hype and excitement out there and then kind of going back for a second and maybe even a third dive to kind of break down and analyze things that we get to look forward to so with all that said uh, I'm going to be watching the trailer for the first time here. Thank you guys so much for your support. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And without further ado, let us begin. I'm so freaking anxious to press play. One minute, 24 seconds. Ruby Volume 6 trailer. Holy shit, dude. Okay. We're going to be watching this together. I don't know what to expect. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> Hopefully it's hype. Um... But thank you guys for watching again. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Oh my god, I'm just gonna start this before I freaking die. In three, two, one, now. Holy fuck. Holy shit! They're pushing that Maya engine! Look it's at those trees! Not to lose Who is that? Of what drives us. Oh, her outfit! Love. <laughs> Justice. Oh! Adam! Reverence. <gasps> what the fuck? But the moment you put Flying your desires people? before my own, Salem, they will be lost to you. <gasps> oh, there he is! Ah! <laughs> this is simply the truth. Do Grim! Oh my God! Oh! Oh! Too much is happening, Adam. Who the hell is that? Oh! Oh! She... What's the plan, oh. Ruby? Don't let anyone else die. <laughs> That's a good plan. What the hell? Oh my God! October twenty. Okay. Wait. What? Hold on. Let's go back. What? So this looks so good. Those trees look it's so much. Important not to lose Yo, like no bullshit. One... No bullshit. Look at this. These trees look better than any trees that I've seen in previous volumes. And I give, I give the episode where Yang like fights the bandits in the forest. I, I'd say that that's like one of the best looking forest scenes. But these trees, like the lighting and shit. I'm a sucker for lighting. Oh my god. It's important. Who not is to this? Lose... Hold on. Okay, first off, hold on. I'm. I need to stop. Relax, Arnold. Relax. Okay, I'm gonna listen to what Salem says, and then we'll go back for a third time. Sight of Is this like an oracle? Us. Love. <laughs> Justice. Oh my God. Reverence. Who the fuck is that? 
Is that the new maiden? The moment you put your desires before my own, they will be lost to you. Your desires before my own? Dude, Tyrion! <laughs> this is simply the truth. Oh my god, I wonder if he has a new tail! New Grim! The, the relic! Emeralds, yeah, they're like, what's happening with Emerald now that Cinder's gone? Renora, let's go! White Rose, <laughs> that combo attack. What's the plan, Ruby? Don't let, Don't anyone, let anyone else, else die. die. <sighs> Easier said than done, unfortunately. Oh my fucking goodness. Oh my goodness. Dude, I can't wait. Okay, now we're gonna go back and I'm gonna break this down. Okay, so first off, whoever the hell worked on this shot right here, this shot and this shot, these trees look goddamn, like damn near lifelike. And it's in, it's the fucking Maya engine. Dude, they're pushing this shit every volume. It's incredible. All right. It's important not to lose sight of what drives us. The relic is smaller right here. But in the other shot, it was bigger. Does like, does Ozpin have like the ability to like make them bigger or small, or, or can they become bigger or smaller? Cause in the previous volume, like that shit was like the size of their head. And now Ruby's carrying it on her, on her side there. Weiss has her freaking new outfit, her tights and her red scarf. Um, there's been some like speculation that that could be the red scarf that her, that her grandfather, Nicholas Shini wore, uh, in the world of remnant of the Shini dust company in volume four. So I'm wondering if that's it. Obviously, a lot of people think that that's like a little nod to, to the White Rose ship. Who is this lady back here? She looks like she looks like an Overwatch character, like with those goggles. She's like an or she's like Oracle over here from Persona. Love. Love. What's in the box? Nah, what's in the briefcase? I wonder what that is. Oh my God. Oh, and team. Oh, so first off, completely overlooked this. Ren and Nora are still with them. So team Juniper. Uh, where's Jean? We didn't. We haven't seen. We didn't see Jean this entire shot. So I'm wondering if he's. If he is he still around? Love. Justice. Adam, you fucking psychopathic motherfucker. Are you literally bodying your own men now? Reverence. Okay, this is on some crazy shit. They're bowing down to this person. I don't know if it's a guy or girl. I don't think that's Watts, because first off, I doubt Watts can fly. Um, and I think the cloak is a little different, or the trench coat's a little different. This could be... I, I don't... What the fuck? Who is that? Like, do they have the ability to fly? Is it a maiden? It could be a maiden, like, just because the clothes they're wearing doesn't tell if it's a man or woman. Holy shit, dude. That cloak. The moment you put your desires before my own, they will be lost. Fucking you. Salem. We get to see her again. Tyrion, dude. Oh my God. I've missed you, dude. I've missed this man. An emerald too. Like, he's like, oh, you're free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your cinder's dead. We're going to be best friends now. Oh my God. This is simply the truth. I cannot wait to see more Salem. I cannot wait. Whoa, okay, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I gotta back up real quick. All right, so we got some Ruby combos over here. Okay, so I have to do shot for shot now. This is simply this the is truth. Simply the truth. New Grim. So those are the. Are those the? Is that the Montecore? What the fuck? Or is that the Sphinx Grim? That one up there looks like a Sphinx. I don't know what the hell that Grim is that just went by. All right, Ruby's doing her little, little dash move. Haven't seen that in a really long time. Holy shit. Crow's going in. Oh, Crow's using his scythe. Holy shit. He's using his scythe now. Finally. Hopefully we get to see some freaking combos going in. Renault. Oh, Jean's right there. Okay. All right. So that is the Montecore Grim. That Grim looks so fucking sick. He's in like one shot though. My God. Who are these people? And who's this hooded person? If I didn't know any better, I would say that that hood reminds me of uh, of Amber. Amber's brown and golden trim hood from Volume 3. But she's obviously dead. That could be, I don't know, Cinder maybe? 
if she is still alive or if it maybe it's just a new character and who the hell are these three the freaking purple brigade over here and she's got her sweets <laughs> you know what this reminds me of this reminds me of like <laughs> the the oompa loompas for some reason from willy wonka and the chocolate factory because the purple and the, and, the, and the ice cream and the strawberries and the berries it's got some Lien here, so this is probably like an information broker who's probably going to give her information or him information based on whatever they want to know. See, now the relic is super huge. Like, wh what's going on here with that? All right, Emerald, like, you need to figure your shit out. Like, a lot of people have been saying, like, oh, Emerald's going to get a redemption arc because, you know, volume three, she kind of had remorse for what happened, what was happening in, in Beacon. And then now you look at the situation now, she's like, what does she have? What is she here for? Like, she only was here to follow Cinder. But now that Cinder's gone, I wonder if Salem's going to be like, hey, you, you, uh, you made your bed. Now you got to lay in it. So it seems like Emerald is really like questioning, like, what the fuck have I gotten my where at what point in my life did I fuck up? right it's like one of those like rewind segments it's like hi my name's emerald sustry you're probably wondering how i got here <laughs> you're probably wondering how i ended up in this situation all right adam okay i'm a little ticked off right here why did they tease this man tossing his freaking mask to the side in the in the character short if he's only gonna go and get a new one like don't tease me like that First off, and Adam's like batshit crazy, destroying his own goddamn throne at the What the hell are you doing, my boy? You killed off all your goons. I guess he's like, fuck the white fang, fuck humans, fuck everybody. I'm doing me. I guess. This shot right here. Why are they what is Ospin up to? Like it like why is he falling? Ru Yang looks like she's about to body him. Blake's about to grab her weapon. Weiss is like, you fucked up. And Ruby's the only one that's like concerned. So I'm wondering if Ozpin is doing something to Oscar. Like, they don't seem to trust him. I mean, Ozpin's always been a shady person, but like, what the hell? This chick looks so cool. I think it's the goggles. Oh, Jean's right here too. Wow. I feel like I overlooked Jean the entire trailer. Cause I'm like looking at all the other shit. This lady looks pretty sick, but my God, like what the heck is all this? And she's got like a staff and she's got these beads. She literally looks like a, an old wise Oracle type of lady. We got some more Renora going on. White Rose. What's the plan Ruby? Don't let anyone else die. <sighs> Please do not let that be a very foreboding comment don't let anyone else die how ironic by the end of the volume someone dies um holy shit by the way remember ruby volume six is only going to be on the rooster teeth website this year wow 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 what a great fucking trailer i'm gonna watch it back one more time what a great trailer man this is so exciting they gave it's us enough to, to pique curiosity, to sight of what drives us. but not enough to spoil. Love. Oh, Justice. I love this music. Love Salem's friends. theme. Dude, who is this? But the moment you put your desires before my own, they will be lost to you. What are your desires? This isn't a threat. This is simply the truth. Yikes. Fuck. <laughs> ah! I can't wait! Next weekend! Oh my god. What's the plan, Ruby? Don't let anyone else die! So I think that was before... The Grim showed up. Oh my God, man! What a great trailer! I'm so excited. I'm so fucking excited. Holy crap! Definitely gonna talk to people about this in my server. Not a lot to really break down because we don't really have context of any of those scenes that we just were shown. But holy shit, dude! 
That got me. Like, if the trailer wasn't enough, I mean, I mean if, the char- if, the, if the poster wasn't enough, and if the character short wasn't enough, and if the New York Comic Con information wasn't enough for me right now, consider me fucking gone at this point, because this, this trailer has me so excited for next weekend. Oh my god. Speculations, theories, discussions, live streams, reactions, reviews, everything. Ruby Season's here. I'm so freaking excited. I cannot wait for this to come out. Oh my god. Okay, well, I guess that's it for the quick video, really. I I, I don't really have much else to say other than, like, my excitement is only peaked even higher. I, I actually want to watch the episodes to kind of piece things together rather than this short cut together trailer. But my god, I am so excited. I can't wait. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the trailer in the comment section. What were your, some of your favorite moments? What are you guys looking forward to based on what we saw? I really want to know, number one, are we going to see more of Tyrion? Number two, what's Watts up to? Number three, who is that levitating person? Number four, what's up with Oscar? Why does Team Ruby look like they're having like doubts about him or they feel threatened by whatever's going on with him? Is Ozpin at work? You know, is Ozpin at work with trying to like assimilate Oscar's conscience with his? Um, a lot of stuff going on, the Relic, and I, I, I'm wondering if we're even going to get to Atlas this volume, or if this is going to be a transitional volume like Volume 4, but anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching, this was super, super exciting, a really great treat by Rooster Teeth today, and, uh, with all that said, I will see you guys in the next video, prepare yourselves, I have a few more Ruby videos coming out later this week, and next weekend kicks off Ruby Volume 6, so I hope you guys look forward to it, and thank you guys so much for watching, take care.